Hello and welcome in. Mark here, <clears throat> aka the Markster. This is video number 36 in the Free Cat series. What you're looking at here is the dodecahedron that I made in video number 34. Today I want to try to add some numbers to the faces. Turn it into sort of a die. And I want to use uh, draft shape strings to do this with. So I'm going to switch over to the draft workbench. And by the way, I'm using 0 0.19. This is the development release of revision 19.758 on w Windows 10. So I would like my numbers to be different colors from the cube, from the uh, dodecahedron. So I've already set this color to 10, uh, to white, to white on this one. And because I want to map to faces, I'm going to make a clone. And we'll be mapping to the clone instead of to the body. If I try to map to the body, um, it's going to give me some errors because inevitably I'll select a face that will be part of the pad instead of part of the body. And I'll be mapping uh, inside the body from outside the body which is a no-no so that's the reason for the uh, cloning the body now let's create some shape strings I'm in auto mode here working plane auto and I'm gonna go to the top view create a shape string I'm going to use the aerials the aerial font and this will be face one and I need that size the scale and it looks about right let's change our scale to 1 now I'm going to map to this face Mapping to the face can leave you vulnerable to the topological naming issue. <clears throat> but I don't anticipate making any more changes to this dodecahedron. Not that's going to give it a different number of faces. But if I do, I'll be in trouble with this mapping. So I'm going to position the offset attachment to get this one lined up on this face where I should like to have it. So minus 0.5, minus 0.4. Minus 0.45 looks pretty good for the X. And since I want this to be scaled properly, I multiply it by the scale. Then hopefully if I change the scale, it'll still line up right. Minus 0.5 looks good enough so this will be equals minus 0.5 times scale and OK
Now I will extrude this in part. And I'm going to do it symmetric. I'm going to create a solid. And let's see what, what extrude height would work. I believe 10 is a little bit too much for this model, for the scale that we're at anyway. So let's link that to scale also. Maybe uh, two millimeters, let's see. That's too much, 0 0.2. 0 0.1. one time scale now let's see we could try different scales does it stay where it belongs it looks like it does Okay, so far so good. Put it back to one. I'm not going to cut this out yet. So we need 12 on the opposite side, opposite face. So let's go back to the top down view <clears throat> create a new shape string we need to be in top down view in auto working plane mode that's important otherwise it'll be skewed the wrong way so this will be 12 and scale works fine there all right now we can map that shape string to the face opposite of one which is this one upside down but that's not a problem so this is going to be minus 1.5 minus 0.5 and y let's try to get it lined up a little bit minus 0.5 Minus point two five. Nope. There we go. Minus point seven five looks good. So minus minus point seven five times scale and minus point five times scale. that one in part create a solid symmetric to the plane and what do we use point one times so equals here point one times scale wasn't it
Now let's see if we can scale this also up and still get a valid result. Because I don't want to go through all this and end up in something that's not going to scale properly. So that's looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. So now, base number two, and I think I'll put it adjacent to face twelve. I don't think there's any sort of convention for how these are supposed to go. Let's get back up to the top view. Back to draft. I could just go ahead and make all these shape strings in one go. <clears throat> so we make a two. I'll set that size to scale. Make a three. I could set this to one here, but I want it to be parametric. So I still need to go back and set it here to scale. Maybe if I just make copies. Then I could change the text. Let's see. Copy. I don't want to make a copy of the DD object. Paste. Okay, so control V, that's five, six, uh, control V, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I just need to set the strings. This will be four for four. This will be five. This will be six. This will be seven. This will be eight. It worked out well because the name is the same as the text. Oops. Alright, so we've got our shape strings made, and we just need to map them to the faces that we want. So I'll put uh, the two right here. And to adjust that offset a little bit. Minus point four for that one. the 
just eyeballing it. It looks okay to me. So minus 0.4 for each of these. Time scale. Uh, why are you failing me? Minus 0.4 times. There you go. Little typo there. Okay, so that's two. Go ahead and extrude it. Create a solid symmetric. So that's 12. Mm -hmm. Once we map it, uh, let's see. We already did 12, didn't we? We didn't need that one. I'm going to delete that one. All right. So now we've got. 12 and 2 and 1. So we'll do 11 next. 11 will be on the opposite side of this 2. So that face there will be for number 11. There we are. Minus point seven five. Time scale. Minus point five. Time scale. It looks good enough for me all right you can go ahead and extrude that one should have done these in order huh That way my extrude number would match the number. But that's okay. I can rename that. So this will be extrude 11. And point 0.1 times scale. So 11 and 2 are on opposite sides. That way you'll always get 13 if you add up the opposite sides. That's the way it is on a normal cube shaped die. So I'm at least going to follow that convention. 
And let's see what else. Um, I don't want two small numbers next to each other or two big numbers next to each other. But it's probably unavoidable to some extent. So three will be the next one. Three and ten. So no matter where I put it, I'm gonna put it right here in this one. So let's map our three to this face. And I'm not bothering rotating. It just um, wherever it's at, it's gonna be good enough. Point five minus point five. Minus point four, minus point three, minus one, minus point seven five, minus point five. Just trying some different numbers. That looks good. So minus point three times scale. Extrude that one symmetric and create a solid. And I'm going to call this one extrude 003. And it's 0.1 times scale. Ten will go there for that face. Map it. Minus point five works for the Y. Minus one point five, oh, point seven, point six. Went the wrong way there. That looks good. Minus point seven five and minus point five. So minus 0.75 times scale and minus 0.5 times scale. And okay. And we're ready to extrude. Symmetric, create a solid. Let's call this extrude 10 and it was 0.1 times scale. Should I pause the video and do the rest off camera? It's getting repetitive. Let's do um, so what we have left four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'll put the four. Where will I 
we'll put the four. Decisions, decisions. Right here. All right, so let's put the four there. Select our shape string, choose the map mode. Three little dots here, bring up the attachment uh, editor, select this face, and it's going to be probably a minus 0.5, minus 0.4, minus 0.5. looks good and I'm gonna make it parametric I want to test the scale again to make sure it's all working as expected well, if it's not I'm wasting a lot of time This will be extrude 04. And the distance was 0.1 times scale. I should probably make another variable. Because if I decide to change the scale, I'm going to go back in and do all of these individually so if I made another DD property for that extrude uh, length that would have been better maybe alright let's test the scale here again let me try uh, 28 F5 boom so we're all still looking good alright I'm happy about that I expected it to work but I like to check to make sure before I waste a lot of time on something alright now so that was number four we need a nine on the opposite side of where the 4 is. That's going to be that face there. Let's take our 9 string. Select the map mode, select the face, minus 0.4, looks pretty close, minus 0.35, yeah that looks good for this 9. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Time scale. And okay. Now we need to extrude it. I'm choosing symmetric so if I decide to leave this embossed raised up 
I'll have that option or if I want to cut it out and make it kind of an engraved uh, hole I'll have that option too and this will be extrude 09 so we don't lose track and apply our scale Now if we change the scale again, let's go to 100. Yeah, you see it's still, it's, it's up much higher now. But relative to the overall shape, it's the same ratio. Back smaller. It just makes the scaling math easier, although uh, it's a little bit more difficult in some ways to to do the scaling, to do the uh, attachment moving. So what else we need now? Five, six, and seven, eight. So five and eight will be on opposite sides. These are all even numbers. These are all odd numbers. So let's keep that going. Let's put the five here. Point three looks pretty good for that one. For now, anyway, let's see. Minus point five. good enough minus 0.4 times scale a different fonts will require different um, different size properties so scale worked out fine for this aerial font but you might need to, if you use a different font, you might need to make this a different value. Instead of dd.scale, dd scale times whatever, 1.5 or 2 or 0.5 or whatever it needs to make it proportionally correct. And this will be, let's see, what are we at here? Extrude 5. So let me rename this one. And the length forward, 0.1 times scale. Instead of 5, we want our 8. So it adds up to 13. Map that one to this face. Let's try that minus 0.5 there. And Minus 
point five there. Minus point four. That looks that looks good to me. So minus point four and minus point five. Accidentally double clicked there. Extrude it. This will extrude eight. Oops, 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 wrong button. Point one time scale. All right, I hit Alt or something. Two more to go, six and seven. Seven here, and these will all be odd view from this side. Call that good enough. One more to go. Number six. Number six. You know what? I just thought of that six and nine. <clears throat> look the same don't they so we're gonna have to do something to differentiate the six and the nine let's see not that I'm actually gonna print this out
Uh oh. Trigger happy there. It's not nine. This is six. See, I'm already con I confused myself even. We need to differentiate these. It's hard to talk and type. Yeah, so this is the six. Uh, so let's add another shape string then, a little minus sign. Go to the uh, top down view. Create a shape string. I'm doing an underscore. And that's just a rectangle. Nothing to that, is it? And I'm going to call this. underscore all right and that size is going to be scale and so which one are you six or nine it's the 9 because it's the opposite side of the 4. So let's map this underscore string to this face. Oops, that's a fine. I hit the mic. Good to you. We kind of like to have them both a little higher now. Minus point thirty five. scale. I'm going to move that 9 up a little bit too.
It's true. Nine has a shape stream. And the attachment offset. In the y direction. Let's try four here. There's five. That's good, huh? Or should I use point three five instead? Okay to me. And now the six. duplicate this object edit duplicate selection I don't want any of this stuff I'll just make a new one I'm not going through all that Go to the uh, draft workbench top top view first. Make sure you're in the top view and you're on auto working plane. All right, make another underscore here. size is scale and this will be shape underscore two six map to this face and that looks good up a little bit yeah this will be minus 0 0.3 times scale extrude that and 
come back and move the six. This will be extrude. Uh oh, six underscore. Point one times scale. All right, now. This one should be point four, I think. Let's see if that moves it the right direction. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. And so now we can ha we can have some different colors if we like. or we can make them all black if you decide to make something like this you're free to choose of course whatever colors you want if you want them individually then you need to make each cut separate if you want them all the same what we can do is just uh, fuse all of these extrude objects together into one single object. And then cut that out of this cut it out of the clone. So I didn't bother changing all the colors. The videos were almost at an hour. Maybe I'll do that off camera to have a, um, a screenshot for the video. And I'm going to save this file before I check geometry because sometimes it can crash. If it does this time, I'll pause and restart. So, checking the, the geometry crash free CAD. <clears throat> I don't know why. Sometimes it does with some uh, shape strings. So, had I chosen a different shape string, it would not have crashed it. But I don't think there's actually a problem with this model. Let me try Boolean Op just to try it. I'm gonna cut. Oops, I'm gonna cut that cylinder out just to see if it works. Yeah, so it's working. So I really don't think there's anything wrong. I'm not able to run the check geometry because it crashes on me. It happens with shape strings. I don't know why. There's a bug somewhere. <clears throat> but only certain shape strings, not all of them, will cause it to crash. Um... It's one of these, one of these uh, bop checks is causing it, I believe. Let me turn off bop check 
and run that check. Yeah, so no errors there. So it's definitely one of the BOP checks that's causing the problem. Let's try to run it single threaded. This might crash. If it does, no big deal. Um, so let me select. Yeah. It might crash even without the BOP check. If it does, we'll be back. I'll be back. So it crashed again, even without the BOP check. I'm not going to. Um, bore you by trying to troubleshoot what's going on with BOP check or with check geometry if something is causing it to crash when you check a shape string but only certain fonts there was a font I used in a different model recently that did not crash but I can't remember which one it was But I believe this model is fine. So that's going to be it for this video. I thank you for watching. Um, went a little bit longer than normal. Should have probably uh, paused while I did some of this off camera. But if it bores you, you can fast forward and skip parts of it. So again, thanks for watching and have a great day.